I get asked by business owners all the time, does my business still need a server? It is 2020 after all. Well, in this video, you're gonna find out. Now, before we start, don't forget to like this video. And if you've got any comments about using servers in your business, then please use the comment box below. Now, servers are those big PC type devices that are installed in your office. They cost thousands of pounds to buy, and along with that, you've got to back them up, you've got to maintain them, you've got to put security software on them. The whole thing just costs your business a fortune. Plus, they only last for about five years, and after that, you've got to repeat the process all over again. So you've probably seen the emergence of cloud technology, things like Microsoft 365. So along with that, does your business still really need a server? Let's look at some scenarios. What applications does your business use on a day-to-day -day basis? I assume that you use email, but you don't need a server to run email anymore. What about files and folders? Well, you don't need a server to run your files and folders either. What about printing and scanning? I'm sure your business does that. Well, you don't need a server for that anymore. So if your business just uses email, files and folders, printing and scanning, then you absolutely don't need a server in your business. And if you have got a server in your business, it's time to get rid of it and to save some money. Now there are lots more businesses who use more than files and folders and email. Take accountants for example, they use an entire case management software to run their business. I know lots of other businesses that use entire software packages to run their businesses. Some of these are stored in the cloud, in which case that's fantastic, you don't need a server. But a lot of these software packages are still traditionally based on servers inside the office. So if your business is one of those, do you still need a server? Well, it is 2020 after all. So I'd like to introduce you to Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure for me is like the sister product of Microsoft 365. Microsoft have data centers all around the world. They've got several in the UK alone. What you can do is rent a software server from Microsoft in one of their data centers. So if your business still uses one of these applications that needs to be installed on a server, you can just put it in the Microsoft Cloud. There are a couple of advantages to doing this. The first one is you don't need to spend thousands of pounds to buy new servers every few years. You can just rent a server for a much lower monthly price. As business owners, we all prefer to budget monthly for our IT costs. We don't always want to spend big amounts of money in one go. The second advantage is disaster recovery. Your server will now be based in the Microsoft Cloud. So if your building burns to the ground, your server will be still running. So you don't have to have any more sleepless nights. So the answer to my original question, does your business still need a server? Well, the answer is no. It's 2020 and your business can use cloud technology to run your entire firm. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next time.